Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the seventh day of Christmas, the festival of the name of Jesus, and in this country, New Year's Day. And with fog, there'll be blue skies last week in terms of weather we don't want to talk about. And as we start a new year, you remember all of those times where I showed you the beautiful poinsettia getting ready to, well, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It will be back, I hope, but cold will do that. And there is even some hope here not as bad and come on this way and it's the way oftentimes our life is mostly dead but look I have no explanation how it is that in the midst of oh my god cold nice things happen perhaps and please for us as well be welcome next week not this week, next week. And getting warmer. Not this week, but next week. regardless of what the stores say, it's still Christmas. And for you, for an intention for people you wish prayed for. And this is usually the time when I read from Bishop Charleston, and it's not that I couldn't find anything, but one talk to you. Thank you for looking in on us. It's a strange kind of relationship where I look at a camera and somehow believe that in contact the Spirit's work gets done. And for you this day, on the name of Jesus, the Old Testament lesson is what's called the Aaronic, A-A-R-O-N, benediction with the name of God. And what makes it remarkable in terms of benedictions that it's personal, it's for the individual. So this day, as the new year begins on the seventh day of Christmas, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.